Hey, what's up everybody? Bill here. So I went to Ami Party 21 and I met some really amazing Amiga users that had these brilliant do-it-yourself projects and that's what we're going to look at today. First we're going to look at an Amiga 500 FPGA board, then we're going to check out a scan doubler for the Amiga 1200, kind of like an Indivision AGA style. Then we're going to look at a floppy drive emulator, much like the GoTech but with some improvements. We're going to look at a headphone amplifier that mixes the left and right audio output on the Amiga because Paul Chip you know, separates the audio channel, like everything either goes to left or right, there's no mix but this headphone amplifier allows you to mix them for a more pleasant listening experience. Then finally, we're gonna look at a GBA board, which is a motherboard replacement for an Amiga 1000 that fits in the, in the case of the Amiga 1000. It has all sorts of enhancements. It's really incredible. Let's go check it out. Okay, so one of the amazing things here at Ami Party is all like the home-brewed hardware that I've seen. It's really amazing. So I'm here with Architect 1200, who's got some really cool stuff to show us. What do you have there, Architect? Yes, I have a board Amiga 500 emulator. Board is designed by Piotr Gosdur. So that's an Amiga 500 FPGA board. Yes, exactly. It's used a Spartan uh, chip and uh, fast SRAM. This is a HDMI port, audio port, power port, power supply to FDD floppy disk. Drive. Oh, so you can put a real floppy disk on yes, it? That's amazing. Yes, yes. A real floppy drive. Uh, this is a floppy drive connector. A joystick. Uh, keyboard. What kind of keyboard? A PS2 keyboard? PS2. Yeah, yes, wow. yes, yes. And you can uh, use uh, two real Amiga 500 keyboard connected in these uh, pins. Uh, this is reset and uh, this is a warp port. So it's almost like if you have a, like a dead Amiga 500, you can replace, put that inside and... Exactly. It, that's that's exactly. really smart. Yes. And it, it emulates uh, Motorola 68000? Yes. And uh, Fat Fat Agnes or Fatter Agnes? Yes, all it's together implemented in the FPGI port. That's not all you've got. You've got some, yes. some more here to show us. So <laughs> what's this? It's another board is Amiga 1200 scan doubler. You put uh, on the Lisa chip and output video is DVI. So this is uh, a scan doubler. This, you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of uh, an Indivision AGA. Yeah, yes. So this is like a smaller, more inexpensive version of more Indivision. More smaller. Smaller version of Indivision. Wow, that's awesome. And which chip does it go on, you said? On Lisa. All designs are Piot Gosdur. I only oh. manufacturing them. Oh, so, so you manufacture these boards? Yes, gotcha. yes, yes, yes. Gotcha. Exactly. Another board is a mini floppy emulator. A floppy drive emulator. Yes, it's the one prototyping, has OLED display and, and the SD card. So it's sort of like um, a GoTech drive, but it uses micro SD card exactly. and has um, LED an OLED display, so it's easier to see your ADF files. It's only to read ADF files. Just put on the Amiga floppy connector. You can select ADF files on this little screen. If someone's interested in buying these, uh, where can they go to buy them? The site is uh, archetech.com PL. Well, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, yeah, it's really, really cool that you do this, and uh, you know, good luck with the project. Thank you very much. So I'm back with uh, Krashen again. You remember him from last year's video? And he was working on a, a prototype of an, an amplifier for Amiga last year, and I think he's perfected it. Uh, what do you have for us, Krashen? Uh, yes, this one is ready for production now. We have uh, a uh, headphone amplifier. Uh, what is unique to, to this, this one, uh, it is dedicated for Amiga, as we all know. Uh, Polar chip uh, separates uh, 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 channels into left and right, and it's total separation. So if we put headphones on, we hear, uh, we can hear half of the music in one side and half of the music in the other side, which is very discomfortable. Uh, this uh, amplifier can mix a bit the channels toge together. Uh, and you can adjust this mix with, with a knob 
so you can have uh, full stereo or turn it to full mono uh, so you can adjust at your uh, taste uh, it can be also used uh, as a pre-amplifier for uh, loudspeakers uh, because uh, when you listen with speakers this separation is not uh, so irritating but it still uh, can be improved with uh, such device Wow, so you can plug headphones directly into it and it'll be an amplifier for the headphones or you can use it as a preamp? Yes, yes. you can connect uh, some uh, hi-fi stereo set or uh, active loudspeakers for computer ones uh, and uh, just because it is not a switch just or full stereo or mono but it can be adjusted at your listening taste well, uh, you have a uh, signal input here. Uh, this knob is for uh, stereo mix adjustment. This is volume, just ordinary. Uh, headphones jack. Uh, this is a USB socket because you can power this device uh, from any USB source. Be it power bank or a computer, a smartphone charger or uh, anything. Uh, it also can be powered by batteries, they are put inside, it should be disassembled a bit for screws and uh, it works from batteries uh, for 20 to 30 hours of continuous play. Wow! Uh, this is a power switch, it is not selection, this is power on off, uh, because uh, when you power it from USB and at the same time batteries are inside, these, uh, the batteries are disconnected automatically, so you need not to put them away. Uh, it is uh, some electronics inside switches it, so batteries are not used when uh, it is uh, powered from USB. What uh, changed uh, from uh, our last talk? Uh, now uh, I am not a hobbyist anymore. I have a registered business named Rustport. Uh, this name should be familiar for people who program Amigas because it's Rustport is the name of one of basic structures in Amiga uh, graphics programming. Anyway, uh, Rustport is a one-man uh, company. Uh, now it's uh, registered, so I have an CE uh, mark and the trash bin. <laughs> it's uh, required to sell stuff in the European Union. You're official now. Uh, yes, yes. A uh, list of uh, distributors on, is on my website, which is easy, it's just restport.com or uh, .pl if you prefer Polish. <laughs> uh, I have uh, six distributors for now. Uh, Spain, Germany, France, uh, Ireland, Poland, of course. Uh, so uh, most of them uh, sells uh, on the to the whole world. So uh, even if some someone from US wants to buy it, uh, can order in uh, any of the uh, distributors. Congratulations! It's it's really nice to see the project come this far, and congratulations on becoming an official business. That's awesome. I, I love seeing, you know, people who see like a need for something in the Amiga community, and they go out and make it themselves. It's really incredible. I'm here with Wally, and he has something really, really cool that I've never seen before. Uh, it's the GBA board. This is GBA uh, 1000. It is the project, original project of uh, German guy, Georg Braun. GB are the initials. So it's like his initials, yeah. It is the very nice project. You can have replacement for your A1000, if you have one, of course. This board fits uh, in place of original 8000 uh, motherboard and on it you have O30 CPU, you have ID hard disk controller, you have uh, flicker fixer too. This flicker fixer is uh, borrowed from A3000 and is based on Amber chip. Uh, you have 16 megabytes of fast RAM, place for two kickstarts, you can switch them. A very interesting thing uh, in this project is that Georg Brown also prepared some add-ons for this motherboard. And you can also 
uh, solder with your solder iron and your hands. Uh, turbo board, it is this uh, red one. And on this turbo board, you have O60 CPU clocked up to 100 uh, megahertz. Very interesting is this graphic board because it is based Cirrus Logic GD5464. It is the construction much, much better uh, than Picasso 2 because the speed of this chip is much uh, higher than the chip used in Picasso 2. The other thing you can add to this motherboard is this USB controller. Yeah, yes, I think, I think it's amazing. Not only this motherboard fits perfectly to 8000 case, but also all of these add-ons also uh, it is possible to close the original case and everything you have in it, in there. It's like the ultimate Amiga Inside 1000. Inside the original A1000. Amazing. Wow. Yeah, I think, I think it's, it's, it's very, very, very interesting. Even though I, I, you know, I do, I love the original Amiga 1000 case, I think your case looks pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but in fact, I would like to have the original A1000 case. This is a good old Sysinfo. Wow. Yeah. It is original 060 clocked uh, 50 megahertz. And uh, this uh, speed is typical for, for, for this uh, CPU. And we have comparison to original A4000 with uh, 040. This is uh, A4000 with um, 060 turbo and this is uh, a 2000 with uh, 062 wow. and we can see that the speed of processor is very similar yeah. to this in, in this construction and of course it's much uh, faster than 040 and we can also do some memory tests and in my opinion uh, the memory speed is probably the bigger advantage of this, uh, of this construction. Here you have very fast, uh, fast RAM. It is uh, 64 uh, megabytes of, of, of this fast RAM. And look here, we have in comparison to, for example, uh, A4000 with 060, our turbo board is much faster. That's cool. Wow.